so I got the new antenna. Um, it's a Comet GP1. Um, I got this uh, Channel Master antenna mount. Um, I'm going to install this pole behind me on there on the channel mount. Channel Master whatever antenna mount. And I'm going to put this uh, antenna on there. Brand new, fresh from Amazon, the uh, Comet GP1 uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move the camera, point it up this way, and I'll show you where I'm going to put it. So I got this uh, wooden overhang here, and I was thinking, let me grab the here. There's two of these pieces that they clamp between. So if I put one, say right there, and then one a few inches up, I think that should be enough to keep it from uh, wanting to bend out the wood and stuff. So let me get a ladder out here and then I'll see what it looks like. Alright, now I'm going to uh, mark off the spots where I want the uh, mounts to be. It'll make it a little easier for me to uh, drill the holes in the right spots and whatnot. So I'm just going to use a, uh, just a little Sharpie pen and just draw out the outline and then we'll see how this goes. probably bring a level out here but I don't know what one is so <laughs> all right that looks pretty good and I think the battery's about to die all right so I caved in and got a level so might as well do this right if you only have to do it so often, you know. Right. Holy cow, I'm glad I did. That thing was way off. It would have been sticking at an angle. Alright, now I guess I'm going to uh, drill some pilot holes for the screws. I don't want to split the wood up, uh, especially since it's not my building. So that was easy enough. Now I'm just going to uh, run those screws in and uh, see how it works out. Um, grab a ratchet. All right. Since the screws here have the little. Uh, heads like that. I'm just going to use a uh, little socket to drive it in there. I don't have a uh, connection for my drill to do that so I might as well put some elbow grease into it. I tell you, if you're looking for ways to wear yourself out, that's one of them. Those aren't going anywhere. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, <clears throat> see about putting together the antenna itself and uh, see if I can't situate this pole somehow so I don't end up up there holding all the weight. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I think the pole is tall enough that I could put it through there and put the clamps on first and then uh, keep it so it's loose until the antenna is on top of it and then I could just slide it up from the bottom and tighten those clamps down so that's that's what I'm going to try to do so uh, give me a second here and I'll uh, see how that works.
Now let's see about actually putting the antenna itself together. I'm gonna scoot you down right here and hopefully you can see there. Alright, so here's the antenna, the uh, Comet GP1. Uh, take this out of the bag here. screw them in. So one for each side here. And three. And there's lock nuts on each of these. Surprised the thing's still standing up. Local J1. Right. So that looks good. Um, so now we want to make the mount bracket and the mount support So let's pretty sparse there. Those 
are just spares. That's good. So, looks like you run them through like this. sticker on there, you don't want to harm the aesthetic of your shows at the top and yep it lines up to tighten that down there and then the little thing here you got a washer in the top and keep that sturdy in place too looks like it screws down into Daughter.
I'm working on the roof, right at the edge of the roof. Always check the gutter for your tools. <laughs> Bet you they're in there if you're looking all over for them. Watch me finagle here. Let's see if I can find the right socket. itself and tighten those down. I'll do that real quick and then uh, I'll give you a couple final shots of it and then we can uh, go inside and see how it works in the air. Um, didn't take that long, maybe an hour. I mean I was screwing around with the camera so it probably took longer than it would take for you but um, yeah it works pretty good. Uh, all the usual stuff, watch out for power lines and stuff. If it could tip over and hit it, it So here's where we're at. It's gonna be really blown out from this angle because we're facing the sun, but if I come around here a bit, get up on this rooftop and look at it from this way. There she is. Got some good height on there. And then a bit unrelated, but there's the uh 10 meter aerial. So yeah, looks pretty good. 